Hey there! Welcome back to Reddit Dating, best channel for cheating stories. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel for more spicy stories. Back to Reddit Dating. Girlfriend emotionally cheated on me. I am really disoriented, angered, puzzled, and feel betrayed after my partner emotionally cheated on me and I need need some insights and guidance on the best course of action. I am a 20-year-old guy dating a 20-year-old girl. We have been dating for 6-1-2 months and are in a bad scenario. It all began three weeks ago when she discovered a decent group of friends, both male and female, to hang out with via her roommate. This is something she has always desired, so I was extremely supportive in allowing her to meet them anytime she wanted. When they got together, which was regularly, generally 3-4 times a week, they would go to bars and become blackout drunk till 2-3 a.m. because we went to the same campus. We would see each other every day, and the length of time when I would be gone during these days was doable for me. She told me about a man in the group who told her he loved her after approximately a week in this environment. I was concerned at first, but she promised me that she would avoid him and that nothing would come of it. I still let her hang around with them, relieved. Slowly though, I observed that she would sometimes mention him to me, which sparked my skepticism remember our relationship was not the happiest, and we were feeding into a feedback cycle of happy and sad days. She was not clear to me about what she expected from me whenever I questioned her. By the third week, she had informed me that she was planning a weekend vacation to Chicago with all of her pals, him included. The previous week had been my favorite week of the relationship, and my love for her had grown significantly. Knowing I could trust her, I was upset yet delighted she was leaving, but I also asked her if she could email me photographs and keep me informed on what she was doing. She told me they were going to be drunk all day every day of the trip. She FaceTimed maybe three times in two days throughout the trip, each call lasting less than a minute. On the last day of the trip, I was irritated that she wasn't giving me anything despite my request, so I told her to simply speak to me when she got back since I didn't want to deal with these calls. She informed me after the trip that she felt morally terrible after a chat with the man I mentioned before. I asked her why, and she claimed they were blacked out drunk, alone, and he told her how he felt about her plus more. I was ready to overlook it, but after a few days, she was back at the bars, extremely intoxicated, and informed me that she had emotions for him after that weekend. Story 2. Wife cheated, right? I, 35 male, have been married to my 33 female wife for seven years, no kids. She began a new job two years ago and has been quite successful. She described a guy she works with but indicated on more than one occasion that he was a jerk and she didn't enjoy working with him. Since then, she softened a little and doesn't bring him up often. I didn't see why I should be concerned. I've always trusted my wife, and although our marriage isn't ideal, we seem to get along very well. Fast forward to approximately a month ago, when I began to notice some behavioral changes. She was messaging a lot more and never left her phone alone. She seemed to have more going on at night and on weekends. She became frigid toward me and refused to return any emotion. And she lied to me about unusual stuff multiple times. The most recent deception occurred as she was preparing for a work trip, and I saw she had bought a new, much more exposing bathing suit than anything I'd ever seen her wear. When I confronted her about it, she claimed she got it online, which was false, and decided it wasn't acceptable for a business trip to Florida with her co-workers after trying it on. So she gets ready for the vacation and grabs her beach suit. I decided to conduct some research while she was gone. I'd never gone through my wife's belongings in our whole relationship, but I'd had enough of the lies. I discovered a sketch of her in one of her work bags, almost like a caricature, but done on hotel paper. I also discovered a post-it note with driving instructions to the home of a male co-worker written in her handwriting. I searched over our bank accounts and discovered that several times while she was supposed to be at work, she was out at various restaurants across the city. This piqued my interest enough for me to look into it more. I'm a private investigator by profession, and when presented with reasonable suspicion of wrongdoing, I have no difficulty breaching someone's privacy. I installed a GPS tracker on her vehicle, legal in my state, since the car is titled in my name. She informed me this Sunday after she returned from her vacation that she was going to work at a coffee shop and do some errands. Her automobile never came within a mile of a Chipotle, but when she arrived home, she went in with a Chipotle cup in her hand and verified she had eaten there. The next Tuesday, she informed me that she needed to attend a corporate dinner and would be working late till the dinner. The GPS indicated that she left work at 3.20 p.m., 
and drove to the restaurant, where her vehicle stayed until 9.00 p.m. The last straw came the following Saturday. At 8.00 a.m., we were meant to see my niece play tennis. She said that she wanted to drive separately in order to exit the event and work at a coffee shop. She informed me after the match that she was going to X coffee shop and gave me a few information about why she wanted to go there. I said good morning and walked to my car. I watched on the GPS as she drove straight to a Comfort Inn hotel. I arrived to the Comfort Inn and waited in a nearby parking lot until I could check she was in the facility and not in her vehicle. I contacted her from the lobby and inquired about the state of X coffee shop. Why did she say it was good? The only other thing I said was come down here so we can finish this. When she arrived, she explained, it's not what you think. He needs to do this since he's been caught with other females before. I inquired as to what she was referring about, and she said that he is usually working in hotel rooms. When she stated they didn't do anything physical, I instructed her to get out of my vehicle. She phoned me 50 times as I drove away. I eventually responded, telling her that if she gives me even one lie, I'm going to hang up. She said that they kissed once around five months ago, but that it was an accident and didn't signify anything. She said once again that they were just working. When I inquired how many times she had met him in hotels, she responded roughly ten in the past nine months. When I inquired what she did on Tuesday, she grew defensive. She said that she had been at work all day till the work supper. I hung up the phone after calling her a liar. She arrived at our home just as I was packing my vehicle with my possessions and my dog. She remained in the driveway, refusing to move until I spoke with her. She was in convulsions, sobbing and apologizing. I left the next day and have been gone for a month. We've met a few times for her to attempt to explain things, but when it's my chance to ask questions, she gets irritated defensive and says things like addressing these questions isn't helpful for the relationship. She's also misled about various facts, even when they seem to be insignificant. I've confronted her with her falsehoods, and she accuses me of trapping her by asking questions to which I already know the answers. Throughout it all, she has maintained that this was not a romantic connection. She said that she had become close friends with this guy and that he was assisting her in her profession. She stated that when they discussed our marital problems, the chats became improper. She has acknowledged to messaging him and then deleting the messages, claiming that they were not romantic but may be interpreted as flirting. She said that she had been depressed for a long time and that he was excellent at talking her out of it and supporting her in her job. I realize I'm being a jerk but there's a part of me that thinks she's right. It's possible that I want to believe her because I care about her, or that I'm terrified of the reality. I'm really interested in discovering the truth, but the reality is that I don't see how I can go beyond the facts that I already know, so why does it matter? Is it possible that I'm becoming insane? Update. We're a month away from D-Day. I chatted with her last night, and here are the highlights of our conversation. I inquired as to whether she had spoken with the individual in the previous four weeks, she said that he is unaware that I arrived at the hotel on D-Day and summoned her. She said that she has not discussed the topic with him since it is a problem in our marriage and does not include him. I inquired whether she had discontinued any non-work-related contact with him. She said that she is reducing her workload. Thinking about tapering down. I blew it. She said that she believes she has to taper down rather than discontinue communication since he is unaware that I busted her. Infuriating. She then lied about an inconsequential fact. I confronted her about it, and I was certain she was lying. She denied to the point of shouting and refused to back down. I ignored it, dismissing it as another another unsolved problem in this drama.